Now, uh, if you have followed also, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has been, uh, you know, sharing his views on a number of issues and he's uh, pointed out that uh, there is a deliberate attempt by officials to massage the true state of inflation and depreciation of the Ghanaian CD. And that's where the debate has been as far as his concerns uh, are concerned. I'll start with you, Felix. Um, when you follow Dr. Baumier's concern, what, you know, generally is government's attitude towards the concerns that he has in respect of uh, the not credible figures that are put, put out deliberately <laughs> being massaged? Well, I mean, they say charity begins at home. Um, at a time when the MPP was in flames and he being a leading functionary of the MPP, I would have thought that he would channel his energies towards addressing those problems. Then we'll have a Ghana much more credible, a much more credible platform Ghana is bigger than to the discuss national affairs. I think that it was only diversionary. <laughs> okay. It was diversionary. Image. Again, go, go ahead and speak specific. I'm going to speak to, specifically. Yeah. Mm. You see, well, subsequently, uh, his claims have been responded to by an economic analyst. Unfortunately, his name has escaped me, and I read it on my journal online. He made the point that the very institutions that Baumia seek to attack are institutions that he either worked in or worked with. The methodology that those institutions use to arrive at the exchange rates and inflation rates are the same methodologies that they used in the past. Nothing has changed. In fact, in some instances, the same personnel are at post. And Dr. Baramia worked as a deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, and they relied on figures provided by the statistical service. And the same personnel and systems exist at the statistical service. So it is very unfortunate that having gained a platform upon which he marketed himself and subsequently entered our politics. He would seek to, at every turn, undermine the credibility and integrity of these same institutions on rather flimsy premise. Let's, because, let's, let's look at the figures. Yes. Dr. Bamia is saying mm -hmm. that while the local currency is trading at an average of Ghana CDs 3.8 to the U U United States dollar among banks, official figures had deceptively pegged the exchange rate at Ghana CDs 3.03. Well, it, it, there's an official rate. It, it, we do know, we do know, Samson, mm. that we have a problem with black market hearing. There are people who operate outside of the mainstream and have a way of driving up the cost of the currency artificially. That is not a problem that Dr. Bamiya can overlook. The same problem existed when he was deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana. I don't think that he is suggesting that whilst he was there, the Bank of Ghana was deliberately misleading the public on the rates of the currency. Again, he forgets that ours is not a perfect, perfect market system. There are serious imperfections that hinder the smooth transition between what official figures stipulate and what pertains on the ground. Again, regarding inflation, I have said that Dr. Bamiya has not challenged the methodology that is being used. He has not said that the same system that existed, that we have relied on all this while to determine our rate of inflation, has been changed. He has not provided the evidence that shows that figures are being massaged. And I think that it is most unfortunate. It is not the first time that he has done this. Somewhere in 2012, he did the same. On that occasion, both institutions came up strongly and challenged his claims, based on which he didn't come back. I expect that they will do the same this time around. But it is not fair. Felix, Felix again, look yes. at this. Mm -hmm. Is this fact? And I'm mm -hmm. quoting Dr. Mm -hmm. Barmia. He says, a simple look at the interbank market exchange rates mm -hmm. indicates that the CD has not only been depreciating daily, mm -hmm. but it is currently trading between 3.7 Ghana CDs and 4.1 uh, per dollar, mm -hmm. with an average of some 3.8 uh, Ghana CDs per the dollar. No, but is he, that must, fact? he must. Is that fact? No, or no, is no, not? no, no. But it is he who has to provide the evidence to make this fact. I do not know of anywhere that the CD trades at 4.1 because we all engage in that kind of trading at one point or the other when you need some foreign currency to transact some business. I don't know of any place where the CD trades at 4.1. Perhaps he should have provided us with the exact location where you go today and find that the city trades at 4.1. That is why I'm saying that this sort of analysis that seeks to question the integrity of institutions that he has worked with, that seeks to undermine the credibility that those institutions should have 
must be condemned. And perhaps he's 60. Help me to understand something. Yeah. If I if I needed to change some dollars mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. and I went to the Bank of Ghana, I don't mm -hmm. know if yeah. they do it over there. Yeah. You, you're saying I'll get it. Well, at that is three, a rate. I'll get it at three point zero. That is a rate. Zero, three, that is a rate that the Bank of Ghana is quoting. So it's possible that, that you will get it. That's not one there possible. to do any business. Possible. But you can go to other <laughs> sessions of our society, and yeah. I've told that there are players yeah, who fall outside of the system and trade in ways that they deem to be beneficial. There are banks that prob probably are flouting Bank of Ghana regulations and are not sticking to the rate as set by the Bank of Ghana. But to accuse the central bank of deliberately massaging the figures in order to please government or whatever without providing evidence of the actual involvement of the Bank of Ghana in this sort of practice is my use okay. mischievous. That is po the point that I, I'm making. I, I see your point. Now, what, what do you say, Honorable? Oh, that, um, he's, saying, he's saying that, look, if you, if you really want, go to the Bank of Ghana, you get it. And, and he's get also the dollar saying at that, where at that rate. the dollar tree is at 4.1. Then you would have a basis to do an investigation. Mm. And he he didn't just say 4.1. He spoke yeah. about between is trading between 3.7. So where? So where? So is where that 3.7, 4.1, and then 3.8. Where? At least at the Bank of Ghana, he knows that it's between 3.095 and 3. That is what he's saying is So deceptive. he states what the Bank of Ghana is giving out. Yeah, he said that so is deceptive. So where can bank? we find the dollar trading at 4.1 to the city? It's a simple question. But you, can, you, you don't know where you can find the dollar trading at 3.7? Well, of course. You can, can find, but, but not 4.1. But, but not 4.1. But okay. again, again, the honors lies on him mm. to provide the evidence, not me. So your problem is the part uh, that, about 4.1. No, that is not the only problem. problem. I have, Seven I have and 4.1 is problem. significant. You see, okay. I have a general problem with Dr. Baumia's pension mm. to question the credibility of institutions that he worked with or worked for without any basis and simply because he thinks that there's some political capital to be gained from painting a much more gloomy picture than the situation actually is. He goes on these studies and I don't think that it is fair. I'm sure that in due course, the Bank of Ghana itself and the statistical service would come out and state their position as they did in the previous time that he made a similar allegation. Yo, when Dr. Baumia told you your mother is dead, can you say she was sleeping? Well, you I see you are hungry. Well, your, your, your mother is dead. Your mother is dead. It's okay. It's okay. Your mother is dead. Don't kill our mothers on this show. Go on, thank you. Your mother is dead. No, no, don't kill our mothers on this show. Your mother is dead. We have told you. Right. But this is what I'm telling you. 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 I'm telling you will end up at well, the door except that, of the IMF. Except that his own performance... Do you see where you are today? His own performance will come you, into question when we have to analyze you, that. Because the city deteriorated Continue not trusting what Dr. Bawiyan says. And that's as deputy uh, governor. Go and dig your mother's grave and bring her back to show us. Now, I'm surprised to hear the deputy minister saying that the, some of the banks... Cloud. I'm not saying that. I didn't say that. It could be. It could Sorry. be. Yes. Mm. It could be. What? And they've done it before. It's not as if. It's not. It's not as if. It's not as if. But you see, at the same time, he agrees to the reality on the ground yeah. right? that some of them are exchanging it for three point yes, seven, three point two. So you can. But when you accuse the central mm. bank of yes. deliberately massaging figures, it's entirely different from saying that. Please, that, that point. That point is made. Thank you. That point is made. That point is made. That point is made. That point is made. Thank you. So go ahead. So you don't believe that. The exchange rate is very close to. Please don't answer any questions. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I think the thrust of Dr. Baumier's argument is not just about where the exchange rate is. It is more to do with the impact the exchange rate has on prices, and for that matter, seeing how the currency has depreciated over the short space of time and yet we continue to seem to enjoy a certain level of inflation that is his worry and he's tracing this back to the fact that is it possible then that probably this seemingly lower figure that is being kept by bank of ghana as the true exchange rate might be the cause of no, this. But there has been a corresponding rise. It, over, if, over the if, and, and, and to, to, to emphasize your point, point, he yes. says that the statistics on exchange rates yes. from the Bank of Ghana yes. and inflation from the GSS yes. are, in my humble opinion, these yes. are his words, yes. not credible. Any shopper at Makola in Accra or markets in Kumasi, yes. Akachi, uh, Techiman, Cape Coast, <coughs> Wa, Bumpurugu, uh, Bolga, 
would laugh at you if you tell them that average prices of food and non-food items have gone up by an average of only 1.5% so far in 2014, yes. and that prices are not increasing as much as this year as they were last, last year. year. So this is the thrust of his argument. It is not just about um, exchange rates, but the impact that exchange rates have on inflation. Because we are all here, we've seen how uh, seriously the currency has deteriorated over the past um, eight months. And yet, when you look at the corresponding uh, inflation figures, it does not seem to translate there. And that really is what he is complaining about. He said he should about. not be heard bastardizing the same institution that he relied on and worked with. Especially now, when their methodology now, has not changed. Yes. So he has not proven and, that And you really changed. made a point yeah. that some personnel are still even at post. Absolutely. The Very same good. people. Now, how they could help all of us mm -hmm. is by putting out the methodology. The, the figures. No. You see, when you have, you are computing mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. you first have the methodology, basket, which in yeah. this case will be a formula. The consumer price index, yeah. And then you fill it in with certain Variables. values for the yes. parameters mm -hmm. yes. that are in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think they will help all of us mm -hmm. by telling us, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year, the price of cement mm -hmm. was so much. Mm -hmm. The price of this food. Mm -hmm. What goes into the inflation computing basket? Mm -hmm. Tell us what the prices have been over mm -hmm. the period. Mm -hmm. You are not the so only person who, there's a who have group lived group. in this. There's a scientific way of doing it. Who it have lived in this over time. country. Yeah. Okay. So tell us how you've been doing it. Give us the no, input. See, Let problem. us also compute and see if problem. there must we be a right the same value please, 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 that Felix, you are arriving. Felix, you've got to stop because that. Sorry. It, it is beginning to look like when I go to the market, at the, at the beginning of June, cement was selling around 24 cities in Suhum. As we speak, cement is between 35 to 40 cities. <laughs> and let... Okay. Sorry, you get it for 30. I will see you after here so that you help me. I'm doing a project and I need cement at cheaper prices. I will see you, John. <laughs> you know, so it is beginning to look like uh, the rest of us live in a different market space and those doing the computations also live in a different market space. That is the thrust of the argument that Dr. Baumia is putting out. So if indeed the statistical service is using the same figures that we see and our wives and our mothers and uh, ourselves we meet out there on the marketplace, then we must have something wrong. Mm. Either the formula that we think they are using to do the computations, we have it wrong, and they are using a different formula. But if indeed they are using the same formula that all the economists know, that is how you compute inflation. Mm. Then they should give us the figures that they are putting John, into John, John, inflation. John, have you, have you bought dollars recently? I mean, have you exchanged some CDs yes, recently? Yes, You yes. have? Yes. And uh, you got it at what? 3.7. 3.7? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you didn't choose to go to Bank the Bank of, of Ghana, Ghana, where you would get it for 3.03? .03? You just don't do that. It depends on what you want to do and whether even you have an account with the Bank of Ghana and all that. You can't walk to the Bank of Ghana and say that I have my CDs give me dollars. You see, I share in some of his points. First of all, just on a very quick note, I find this as a red herring. Why? There's a problem in the MPP, everybody's talking about That's it, so let's throw something yeah. in to divert There's attention. No, 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 no. To, that, that aside, okay. that the aside. Bank, you now let me come to the meat of it. You, you know, the price of petrol, problems. the ceiling, <laughs> is 3.2 <laughs> per liter. I traveled to Bumbuntu in the central Gonja district. In Bumbuntu, I bought the same quantity for about four instead of 3.2. So first of all, depending on where you are buying the product, depending on the demand and supply situation, there could be a slack, there could be some disparity and some discrepancy. That is a fact, and you can't run away from that. That does not mean that somebody is deliberately, and you see, the catch word is that he's accusing them of, of deliberate, deliberate way of putting out false information. And that is why I have a problem. See, where, Dr. Where, 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 would have where, raised for issues. example, where you bought yours, yes. mm -hmm. why don't you bring that to the attention of the Bank of Ghana, for example? That you cannot. Someone is doing you cannot. No, you cannot because, look, if you will, we have what we call the transportation index fixed into determining fuel prices. Maybe the fuel goes to Bupe. That's where it ends. But the cost of taking it from Bupe to Bumbuntu is another cost element altogether. And so you cannot stretch it beyond that. 
Also, this currency has to do with demand and supply. It doesn't even matter if where you have specific banks, we can find them. No, I'm coming there. And who are not respecting what, I'm, I'm, what you I'm, say the Bank of Ghana says ought to be I'm, the I'm coming rate. there. I'm coming there. There's always been some disparity between what the Bank of Ghana quotes. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Mm -hmm. You talked about the petroleum index mm -hmm. for universal... Yes, pricing formula. Pricing formula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the objective of that? To ensure that as much as possible. There's uniformity. Yeah. There's uniformity. uniformity. As yeah. much so, as possible. So as minister, how is it possible then that I can have a differential in pricing? It, it in can two happen. Can happen. In and that's why it can happen factors. because of where yeah. you are. For yeah. instance, yeah. in Bumbunto is an overseas area. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 it, so you have a responsibility okay. to ensure that wherever yeah. I yeah. Okay. Exactly. 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 The point is as much as possible. That is why as a government, thank you. That is why as a government we are broadening and increasing the accessibility rates. See, see, I was there to learn the LPG promotion program. Look, you you joined Felix in asking. The Baumian to show where the dollar 4 is 4.1. 4 4 now, now, now he gave a list. That's I was right. actually looking for that list. That's right. And in the list that he gave, mm -hmm. he gave the ADB where you get it at 3.9, uh, mm -hmm. Carl Bank 3.7, mm -hmm. Echo Bank 3.6, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Prudential Bank 3.8, mm -hmm. Access Bank 3.7, mm -hmm. HFC mm -hmm. Bank 3.7, mm -hmm. Royal Bank. 4.0 mm -hmm. um, then UBA 4.1 but he gave that, that he gave that he is it who gave that, gave that? I'm telling you, when he was making his uh, no, I'm saying, analysis, did he give yes. that? I mean, so that we can challenge him and hold him because we want to find out and put him to strict proof. You were looking for it, and I'm sure you, said, he I'm said he did not find it. I'm saying, did he? Because we've read all this, this yeah. he did not. But you see, I no, don't. No, no, I'm now giving it to no, you. No, is this that he I'm giving it to you? That, it, no, no, is that this, in UBA no, no, no. is 4.1. No, Royal Bank is 4.0. No, no, no. I'll not answer that question. No, no, no. Okay, fine. I'm dealing with him. Let's put that aside. You see, there has always been the case, Samson, and you can do a check that the official rate quoted by the Bank of Ghana mm -hmm. is not always the case as the commercial banks. Mm -hmm. It's always been the case. So, if Dr. Bamia has issues and he's raising that, we welcome that. Let's all interrogate that and deal with it. I agree with him. But to claim that there's a deliberate ploy to do ABCD, <coughs> it cannot be. And I did some quick... Whilst we were talking, I was doing some calculation. If the price of cement was 25 and it moved to 30, it means that there's a 20% jump. Yeah. If the rate of inflation was 12% and it moved to 15%, it doesn't mean there's a 3% jump. Yeah. When you do the rare calculation, it's about 20 something percent. That so let's be careful mm -hmm. the way we draw our conclusions. And there's always a standard way of calculating inflation. It hasn't changed. If he has problems with the way a manner we calculate inflation, because I was even told that cement is not captured as part of the entire basket. Mm -hmm. And we think that as a nation, we want to capture team, cement. Yeah. We want to give it this weight because of the rate of consumption. Let's do that discussion. But this political way of doing the discussion takes us away from the real issue. That's for the fact. I, I respect, give you the fact. I respect you Dr. Bob, what facts? What fact? This are all facts. I'm talking about inflation. It is not that fact. I'm just giving the calculation. You were asking where to find the dollar. You were asking Dr. Bamiyan. No, it wasn't Dr. Bamiyan who gave it. He said no. That doesn't matter. It does. But I don't know. On what basis did you bring this? I've dealt with banks. I've never come on. He read from the list. I'm so glad. Okay. But if I may just end. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Just to end. Um. Um. Briefly, let me go to the phone lines. I'm going to talk to Kweku Kwating. He, um, Koko Kwating, is a former spokesperson of government on finance under the MPP. He's a member of parliament for Obwasi, and he joins us to give us just a small point to explain, uh, justify Dr. Baumier's points. Koko, good uh, morning and welcome to News File. Well, thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, very uh, brief. I, I just like to throw in two quick points, one of which you have uh, indicated already. The source of Dr. Baumier's figures <laughs> were clearly indicated in his statement. And it was on the 13th of August 2014. Anybody can go to the banks and confirm these figures. But two, and probably the more important point, the Bank of Ghana does not give administrative exchange rate figures. No. It is not as though they announce some figures and are complex. What the Bank of Ghana gives it's a report 
Bank of Ghana must go to the bank that are registered and regulated. If they are serious, they are going to put it on the head. What we are seeing now is that... Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, bank... uh, sorry, yeah. can, can you... Can you... Kweku, can you reposition yourself a bit? Because it looks like your line is bad. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, is it better? Good. So, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's gone bad again. Uh, it's gone bad, bad again. Um, Kweku, I was, I was with you uh, briefly on this point, and then we'll move on. Uh, it's a question of uh, Baumia's Baumia questioning the integrity of the figures as put out by the statistical service. And there's the evidence to show that when he says that the dollar is being exchanged at 4.1, that's, that's really a fact on the ground. Yes, I mean, it's settled. I was surprised that question was being persistently posed, but it's right here. So you settle the matter there. And, uh, you know, I have a certain principle that unless I have something contrary to figures released by official institutions, I go along with it. It's a matter of principle. But Dr. Baumia has raised issues that require further interrogation. And this is not the first time that he's raised those issues. So it's a legitimate exercise that we have to be dispassionate, look at the points he's making. I find it a bit difficult to accept why there's such a wide margin between what the Bank of Ghana is quoting and what the other banks are putting out there. Forget black market. Forget even the Forest Bureau. I have a very serious difficulty with that situation. They, it should be a bit closer. We are right. not asking for, you know, the same. Mm. But it should be closer. The, the gap is wide, let's be honest. So there must be something that is missing in action relative to the way we are managing the foreign forest uh, uh, economy. So I'm, I think Dr. Baumia is rather raising a legitimate point that requires interrogation. Otherwise, you see, uh, the way our friends from the NDC are reacting, and uh, it, it takes my mind back. We had a situation where the same conduct was put up by them, what they are criticizing today. Incidentally, Felix himself, and indeed, uh, JJ, <laughs> they were members of the NDC forum for setting the record straight. They described <laughs> statistics and figures given by Bank of Ghana and the Ghana Statistical Service as Four one nine statistics <laughs> and kangaroo <laughs> statistics. I have the statement here. I have the statement here. They said, why is the MPP, listen, why is the MPP throwing about these four one nine camp statistics? MPP, and not claiming, Bank of Ghana or no, but service. MPP was putting out figures no. that have been given Most by the statistical the service Dr. and the Bank of Ghana. Bank yeah. of please, Ghana. Mm. please. Yes, what and grown the economy from mm -hmm. four point mm -hmm. four billion yeah. to mm -hmm. sixteen billion, mm -hmm. and our people's. Uh, People's economic suffering mm. enough. Okay, Why should, no, no, no. Let me finish. Okay, Let me finish. Yeah, Why yeah. should the NPP also add insult to their pain by deceiving, mark the word, deceiving them as well as with all these kangaroo statistics? Right. Koku is reading this statement for about the third time on I this remember. platform uh, uh, when this issue comes yes. up. And so there's a point, there's a point, sorry, sorry, gentlemen, gentlemen, hold on. Koku Kwating is back on the line. Koku, you were explaining. Uh, the first point you say, because uh, I referred to where he got his, uh, his figures. The second point, you're saying the Bank of Ghana only reports, and then you were moving on to give us a little education. Exactly. I'm saying that the Bank of Ghana does not set administrative rate, exchange rate in Ghana now. What do they do is to look at the banks and to report the average so that it is a guide for anybody who wants to do business in Ghana. Now, what the Bank of Ghana has been doing is that when they go around and they collect these figures, the figures Dr. Baumia indicated in his statement, they are not some unofficial figures. They are official figures. I myself, on the 18th of this month, August, I went to the NIB office of Obuasi and asked for the rate. The rate I was given was 3.75. Now, they are official figures. So the Bank of Ghana ought to be taking the average of these figures and reporting them on their website. But what the Bank of Ghana has been reporting, and I agree with Dr. Baumia, is a massage figure from the average. You cannot take an average of between 3.7 and 4.1 and you come and get three. I think what is happening there, I, I speak very cautiously, is fraudulent. Somebody must investigate why... 
the averages on the market are different from what the Bank of Ghana is reporting. You say you say you say you think what is happening there is fraudulent. I think it's fraudulent. It's okay, you're, you're bringing, you're, you're imputing criminal yeah. motives here. Can you imagine? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, you so hold on, hold on. Please let me do my I job am, here. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Go I ahead. Am I'm conscious of what I'm saying. I, I mm. have laid the background. What mm. I'm saying is that the Bank of Ghana does not set rates. They report market rates, mm. and the markets are the banks and and the, and, and the banks. Let's say for now. Now it's. The Bank of Ghana will go to the bank and report figures that deviate completely from what the banks are officially quoting. It is hard for me to come to any other conclusion but to conclude that the figures being reported are deliberately being changed from what is happening on the market. I name that fraudulent. I and, see. And, and, and that is the basis for what I'm saying. And, and who do you want to do what? Well, I have uh, thrown it out there. As you ask this question, I'm thinking about it. The Bank of Ghana is a regulator. So if they themselves are, are putting these figures out, perhaps as a result of the point I'm making right now, the Bank of Ghana should come out and explain how they are taking averages of these big figures and getting a much lower figure of three. They have to come out. And the media can perhaps take this up for us and let the Bank of Ghana explain why this is happening? Maybe, maybe Parliament should call <laughs> that. Thank you, thank you very we much. Kuku Kwating, Kuku Kwating, agent is a uh, former spokesperson yeah. of government mm. on finance under the NPP, Sometimes and he's a member of Parliament, parliament for Obuasi. Yeah. And Kuku and then Fred uh, Hammond are, are saying that 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 maybe Parliament should begin to take this issue and look at it seriously and see what can be done to the Bank of Ghana in respect of the alleged you know, fraudulent acts that are going on there in respect of the reporting. Well, we you been, are finishing your point. Yeah, I haven't said alleged fraudulent. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not saying uh, you say so. Okay. It's unacceptable. It is a Kuku Kuku, yeah. who alleges but so. There's oh, one thing I found a bit intriguing. And mm. as I said, I'm always weak when it comes to these issues. But the, the economist who spoke to my Joy Online, right. I mean Joy FM, mm. relative to Baumi Astin and which uh, Felix referred to, I found something quite intriguing. Why is he began by disputing, I mean, challenging Baumia on basis of the methodology? Somewhere along the line, he agreed with Baumia relative to the exchange rate depreciation. I don't know whether you got that drift. The no? Rate. The, yeah, that it was 40% instead of the 22 or so percent. Baumia, too, is talking about 40. Yes. No? He made and, a point. and the gentleman, in spite of challenging the methodology that he said that, that was, had always been in use, while Baumia was in office, ended up the conclusion agreeing somehow with Baumia's rate about 40%, which is mm. what is globally seen to be the you correct see. figure. Okay. And I yeah. thought that was quite right. an interesting well, in thing. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll move that. on. We'll move on. But okay. when, when your, your colleague member of, of parliament, uh, me member of parliament, um, Kweku alleges fraud. Suggest this, and Kweku Baku suggests that Parliament should take it up, and you seem to agree. Yes, I how, how will that process be initiated? There, there are several uh, processes. We can um, approach the Speaker to call in the Minister of Finance to address the House, make a statement to explain this position, failing that um, Kweku is a very competent member of the House. I know he's also a member of the Finance Committee. He understands this issues and can therefore interrogate it to its logical conclusion. He can file an urgent question. And as we are discussing these issues here, Dr. Baumia has also put it out in the public domain. It has indeed become a topical matter and it will be in the interest of both parties that this matter is delved into. You, you represent the so people. He can, he can you represent the people. So if you feel strongly that this is the way to go, yes. then you ought to be pursuing it. Uh, yes, that's, that's the point I'm making. That that is, but he is convinced enough to do it. I can also do it, but I'll urge him to go This country will have a history, question. some, not a history, because that would mean a very general thing. But it's been a case of misreporting before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, by both the Bank of no, Ghana and the Ministry of Finance. John has an intervention. Yes, John. First of all, mm. I, I think that nobody is attacking Baumia. Oh, no, not at all. No. Mm -hmm. We think that we should be consistent and deal with the issues. I just checked from the UBA website, and the indicative rate for selling is 3.8. What about date? Date. Today. 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 Yes, but it could have gone down. He that gave dates. That's why you don't do that that sort of don't don't that that kind of no, no. Can I, can I, can I build my point? I, I, I think that 
we respect his views. He mm -hmm. can come up with issues for yeah. discussion. But please, let's know how we put them. If okay. you want to do politics no. with them, see, see, let's, this let's kind be of fair. But we have given a date, dateline, 13th yes. Yes. August. Yeah. 2014. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. I mean, once we have internet here, we have three weeks or continue. So, do you want to do that? I'm saying that. In fact, that would be an improvement. Yes, today's August 2014. Yeah, that would be an improvement. That would be an improvement. Yes, okay. Now, so why do you now check, that check how? But that figure Kavina, is what check how Kwabena Boedu thinks about the situation. Kwabena Boedu thinks that if the difference in the rates between the uh, Bank of Ghana and the Interbank is almost a city, then it explains why our forex reserves are depleted. Because this means that the banks are making abnormal profits just by buying the dollar at three point zero and selling it at four at their banks. This abnormal profit could lead to abnormal demand for the no, dollar, okay. which will certainly drive up the rate. This is a uh, misunderstanding. Kweku Kwati explained. Right. But what, this, what this is, is actually an aid to what, talk about me. Who said this? Yes. So, <laughs> so it was confusing. Oh, no, 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 no. But we should not. We should not. Um, <laughs> no, this is an aid to Dr. Kwati. We should not. Okay, that's it.